It's book time, baby. <laughs> hey guys, so today we're doing Inktober. Yay! Um, so you may be wondering, oh Jesus Christ, this came out on Halloween. How are you going to do this? How are you going to edit 31 different things in one day? Well, I'm not. I'm going to be smart about it. What I'm doing is I'm recording a little, little thing every day. So obviously I'm recording the drawing. Then I'm going to record after it the little video, that go the audio that goes with it. And that's, you know, basically how it's going to go. So I may sound different depending on the day. Well, technically I'm recording four days in a row at the moment because I, it just took me a while to start recording audio. The first three drawings were done on the same day because I forgot it was October. And um, yeah, so let's get into it. I'm going to have to be pretty quick. So day one, the word, if I remember correctly, fish. And here's the thing about me. I actually have a little, little tiny bit of a phobia of fish. Um, so I just drew, you know, but a, you know, butterscotch 2.0, just cowering in fear over a goldfish. Last year, um, I did a bunch. I tried to make everything slightly horror themed, and I feel. Like, but this year, I'm doing whatever. I don't. I don't want to have to make everything horror themed again. Way harder than I expected. Um. Oh, also. I have a special guest. It's Joe. Okay, what? Okay, Joe, did, does, Joe doesn't want to say hello. Uh, basically, every day I'm going to get Joe to rate my drawing. And that's it. What do you think about this one, Joe? This drawing kind of looks like my diarrhea. Well, um, it's a little rude, but whatever. Uh, let's move on to day two. Okay, so day two, I believe the word was... What was the word? Hold on. Day two, day two, the word we have is wisp. So I decided to draw a little wisp, not very good at drawing wisps. I'm really bad at drawing fire, and obviously, well, it's not really a fire spirit, but it's a spirit that takes the form of fire. Um, you know, very, I believe it's Scottish, actually. I think it's Scottish. Uh, wherever Brave was set, that, that's where all the wisps come from. I tried to make it have glowy, like, outlines, but it didn't really work very well. Uh, whatever. Um, what do you think about this? This drawing kind of looks like my diarrhea. Ah, yes, same thing again. Uh, anyway, let's move on to day three. And, uh, the word was bulky. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I needed to be fast with these first three ones, so I hope you uh, guys don't mind in the low quality of it all. But I thought day three was pretty good, actually. Like, I, I, I don't know, I just love when people draw little blobs with, like, big muscles. So I did a little, little dude with big muscles and uh, shaded a quick thing because it's easy to do and I didn't have a lot of time. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I'm still pretty proud of it. I think it looks pretty good. This drawing kind of looks like my diarrhea. But, um, oh, I guess we move on to day four. Okay, so it's day four, and I realize that this video may be long, so, um, yeah. Sorry about that. I actually have no idea how long it's going to be. I want to be as short as possible with my explanation. You know, I'm going to take a look just because I look a bit, took a little bit more time with the drawing, as you will be able to tell. I mean, Jesus Christ, the actual recording for this was like half an hour, where the others were like a few minutes. So the word for the day was radio. Uh, and I first decided to do a little like hand radio type thing. And I was like, I want to I wanna do actually some, you know, good that I like. So I decided to, you know, the war radio. Uh, it's based off a real radio. I'm honestly not sure which one. Uh, I've got a few inconsistencies, but uh, I just got the first reference I could find that was good for war radio, to be honest. I'm pretty proud of this one. Um, I wish I did better on the shading, but given the time, I'm not too upset about that. Uh, I like the hand radio. Like, I like the little hand bit, the mouthpiece, or whatever you want to call it. That's, pr that's pretty good. Uh, background pretty simple still. But I tend to do simple backgrounds when it comes to ink anyway. I like to draw the entire focus. And, um, wait, did it? Joe, what he thinks about the third one? Joe, what do you think about the third one? This drawing kind of looks like my diarrhea. Oh. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, speaking of which, what do you think about the fifth one? The fourth one? What do you think about the fourth one, Joe? This drawing kind of looks like my diarrhea. I'm starting to see a trend here. Uh, moving on to day five, I guess. The first day that I'm not recording in this one take. So, prepare to hear some different sounding audio. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm consistent. I don't know. See you tomorrow. Okay, so it's day five. Uh, today's word was blade. I did not know that today's word was blade. I mean, I did because I read the prompt list, you know, before October. But I forgot that today's blade. I'm very, pre very pleasantly surprised. 
as uh, you probably know, I love, love drawing swords. So I use this as an excuse to draw them. But this was actually harder than I thought it'd be because, you know, I specialize in swords and stuff. Sword, which um, didn't work out. Uh, I realized pumpkin is quite a hard thing to make a sword based off of. So I just went for a general Halloween vibe. Um, did like flames on the, on the blade, little eyeball on the hilt, a uh, demonic tree stump as the handle, and then um, yeah, I realized that there were too, way too many colors for this. So I decided to make the pumpkin purple and blue. And honestly, I think it works. Um, it may sound a bit more rushy than I was the other few days. That's because this is the first one without actually sure what the tone is for this kind of for this video. My tone's gonna change every single day, I'm sorry. I also just recorded the audio for Matt's video, um, which I think is up today on Halloween. Or maybe sure. Uh, Joe, how do you how do you think about it? I like this one? This drawing kind of looks like my diarrhea. Oh well, can't say I'm surprised. Uh, let's move on to day six. See you tomorrow. Okay, so it's day six, and I have to apologize. Uh, yeah, basically what happened was I did a big old procrastination. To be fair, I am. With my girlfriend, so there's a lot of distractions. But that's, you know, it's whatever. I think this is more of a challenge because across two days, yes, the days were very far apart. But across two days, I had to draw 20 drawings. Uh, and, yeah, okay, so what I'm going to do this is just quick fire round... And then we'll ask Joe his opinion afterwards. I'm sure it'll be different every single time because we know what Joe, Joe's like, right? Joe, Joe's, Joe's nice. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go. Six rodent. I drew a toy rat because I couldn't draw a normal rat, and then it made me sad. A seven fancy. I drew a dude with glasses and a handlebar mustache, but I'm really bad at handlebar mustaches, so there's that. Eight teeth. I did. This cool little, you know, that thing the dentist put in the back of your throat, the little mirror thing. Yeah, I did that. Nine, throw. I did a terrible basketball. An awful, awful basketball. And this is where it gets a bit more simple, because I realized I didn't have time to do backgrounds like the teeth one. Ten, hope. Flower, hope. Kind of goes. I mean, there's that whole thing about the flower growing through a crack in the pavement. Represents hope, whatever. 11. Disgusting. I drew a mushroom. I hate mushrooms. Mushrooms are terrible. That's... I fucking hate mushrooms. Okay. 12. Slippery. I was gonna draw a banana, but I can't draw bananas. So I drew alcohol, because that's metaphorically slippery. Those are finger guns. 13. Dune. I drew a dune buggy. Very bad. It's, it's a dune buggy. 14. Armor. I was very excited for this, because I thought I was gonna have time... To draw a nice set of armor. Turns out, nope, I didn't. So, I have drawn the arm protective piece thing. You know, the wristband thing. Very underrated piece of armor, that actually. I want to do a video on that in the future. Because I like my weapons, I like my armor. 15, outposts. Yes, I, I actually drew a box saying in. And a post outside of it. That that's all. That's all it is. I also, as you could tell, was losing the will to live at this point. Sixteen rocket. Draw a cute little rocket. It says one one five in it. <laughs> you get the reference. Gaming video on Joe's channel when the new zombies comes out. Um, seventeen storm. It's storm cloud. I thought it was cute. It's not really much I can say about that. Eighteen trap. I drew a little, oo woo face because. <laughs> You know, traps in anime are like uwu people. No, I do not think traps transphobic, but that's let's save that for another day. Nineteen dizzy at the Drew Catherine wheel. They make me dizzy. <laughs> yeah, they make me dizzy. Twenty coral. I drew a coral and the fish saying it will kill you because fish are fucking evil. Twenty one sleep. I drew a sleeping pill because. I don't know. For some reason, I couldn't think of what a bed was. 
22, Chef. I drew a chef's hat. 23, I drew a tombstone because the word was rip. Uh, 24, Dig. Drew a shovel very badly. Because <laughs> uh, I was on the phone to my mum, but it's whatever. 25, Buddy. I drew <laughs> Zuko's scar. Because there's this scene in... Um, Avatar The Last Airbender, where Zuko goes, that's rough, buddy, and me and my girlfriend find it hilarious, so we caught it all the time, so buddy is Zuko, uh, well, his scar, because I, obviously I couldn't draw Zuko. 26, hide, I'm drawing me hiding from my problems, <laughs> because that was actually a fitting one to end it on, because, um, yeah, this. I'm not going to edit this audio, other than, you know, the wave liney stuff, I'm just not going to do any cuts. Um, basically that's it, <laughs> gotta edit this, um, sorry about that, hopefully next year I'll do something better, and I recently found out about the controversy with, um, Inktober, I'll talk more about that at the end of the video, see you on 27. This drawing kind of looks like my diarrhea. Okay, fourth time's the charm. It's day 27, yay, my... Energy levels are heavily dropping. Yeah, so this is the fourth take because I've noticed when I record stuff, for some reason it just doesn't record certain parts and it like skips. So I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, Usually I look at my recordings while I'm talking to see, you know, the actual process. But I'm going to see if that's the issue because my laptop's not very great. So it could easily be lagging due to playing a video at the same time. Um, so yeah, let's get into this one. The word today was music. I was going to draw a ukulele, but I'm bad with proportions. And ukuleles, you know, aren't just small guitars. They have different proportions. So I decided to draw a guitar because that's easier to draw than a ukulele. For me, anyway. Uh, the guitar I chose to draw was blue with pink neck. And, you know, that bit at the bottom where the strings connect to. Um, because I thought it looked cute. I also added some triangles, because geometric shapes look dope. Um, yeah, the triangles, obviously yellow. Bit of green. Um, I think it looks really good, actually. A bit out there, but pretty good. The shading, I chose a purpley, reddy color, because it looked nice. And uh, I forgot to shade the background, <laughs> but that's okay. The focus is on the wood, and the wood was music, and the music is guitar, so I'm, I'm counting that as a win. Um, the room, I decided to make brown and orange. Same hue. Um, because... Well, I wanted it to be simple and also, you know, to contrast the guitar pretty well. That's, uh, that's about it. Not a lot today. Um, I just realized my file name for this drawing is 67, so I'm going to change that to 27. Um, so Joe, what did you think about this? This drawing kind of looks like my diarrhea. Could you for once say anything else, Joe? I mean, constructive criticism, maybe? I don't know. Just... <sighs> Okay, whatever. Uh, day 28, or whatever. So, it's day 28. And, um, as I was editing yesterday, I realized, yep, it's totally the issue. Uh, me recording, me watching the video back while I record audio is apparently the thing that makes my audio terrible. So, what I'm gonna do from now on is I'm just gonna look at the picture, explain it like that. Um, I, I'm gonna probably look through the footage and take some notes in the future, so I don't you know, forget about certain things that happened while I was drawing, because uh, that's the whole reason I look at the video instead of just a picture anyway. So, 28, the day, uh, today's word was float, and I thought, I immediately thought of a woman floating in the sky, doing a little flying thing, I don't know, I don't know, uh, um, I was tempted to draw without legs, but as you can tell, I didn't even do that in the sketch phase. I have this weird thing where if I draw someone that can fly, I just don't give them legs. Like, if they can fly on a regular basis, like, it doesn't, like, wear them out or anything, I'm just like, yeah, they don't need legs, they can fly. So, um, but yeah, I gave her legs. Um, and I put little clouds around her to show that she's flying through the clouds. And, I mean, the position, I tried to do it calm, but, like, not too calm, so she's actually, like, conscious, but she's, like, chilling. Um, oh, it's really hard to fucking do this without the video. <laughs> I really need a better computer. Um, I did a little plane going in front of the moon, because, I don't know, just to emphasize the height, I guess. Um, I made sure to do it in a night sky, because I wanted a calm, tranquil feel, which is why I chose the color palette that I did, you know, blues, purples, pinks. It goes really well, apart from the fact that she kind of blends into the background, because... 
you know, the night skies also got blues and purples and pinks and stuff. I actually based that color scheme off of the way my girlfriend draws the sky. Because she's really good at night skies. So, I kind of ripped you off that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, actually, she's drawing right now as I'm speaking. So, she can't hear me because she's listening to music. Um, yeah, did a nice little starry night, etc, etc. You know what a night sky looks like. Um... Oh, you may be wondering what kind of brush did I use for the background. Uh, and that was actually, it's actually my own brush that I made myself. Um, if anyone wants that, I guess I could figure out how to put a link in the description or something. I don't know how to share my brushes, but if you want it, I could give it, I could find a way to give it to people. Um, and yeah, my brush is, don't know why I started talking about my brush then. Oh, I actually did a huge focus on the background this time because I thought that was like really important to this and I usually don't put much detail into backgrounds but I just decided to this time I don't know why I just I feel like backgrounds are very important and like I underuse them so you know, I'm stepping a little bit out of my comfort zone here uh that's day 28 uh oh we're almost done that's good uh oh it's actually my anniversary today with my girl that's really sweet um which is another reason why I, you know, emulated her background style. Definitely not as good though. I mean, you should check her artwork out. I will link her Instagram in the description. Um, if she wants me to. Uh, I love you, Paul. She can't hear me because she's on her earphones, but she's going to hear it when she's in the video. Haha, <laughs> sneaky. Okay, okay. Uh, day 29. See you then, people. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh my God, I almost forgot. Joe, what did you think about this? Come on, come on. I'm proud of this one. This drawing kind of looks like my diarrhea. Why is it always the same? <laughs> I mean, I like this one. When I sent you the picture, you immediately said you liked it, but whatever, okay. You're just doing this fucking bit again. All right, see you tomorrow, I guess. It's tomorrow, day 29 to be exact. And today's word was shoes. So I was thinking what to do for shoes, and honestly, as you know, in my New Year video, I'm bad at shoes. Yes, I have been practicing this year, but I'm still pretty bad at shoes. So I decided to kill two birds with one stone. Uh, one of the characters in Doom for this uh, secret project is <laughs> they need shoes. Uh, so I decided to design some shoes for them. This is definitely not the final design, but you know, yeah. Basically, this character has fire powers so i wanted to go with a red theme and i put a little flame on the front they are knockoff converse i guess i honestly don't know much about shoes i'm not exactly a clothing person but yeah that's about it uh this one was actually quite fun mostly because i was already in like a drawing video editing mood because i just basically did an entire video in one day because i've been in a video mood today so that's the video that came out, technically it comes out tomorrow, but came out yesterday for you. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, I'm recording this on the 29th, that video came out on the 30th. I did that, and then later on I did this segment for this video. Uh, oh shit, yeah, this is a long video, so I guess I don't need to explain much any further. Um, Joe, what do you think about this one? This drawing kind of looks like my diarrhea. <sighs> I swear to God, Joe, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Uh, day 30. That's great, actually. That's really great, because then... Joe jo doesn't have to do the thing. Uh, okay, bye. It's day 30. So close. So close. I cannot wait for the end of my life. No, um, so today's 30. The word was ominous. And when I think ominous, I immediately think of a creepy house, which is bad because it cannot draw houses. So, yeah, don't expect anything good from this. I'm not an architect, but... I drew a house thingy. Honestly, not sure what this is. It seems like a combination between a church and a factory, which I think is actually what I was going for. But like, I don't think it. W I don't think it worked very well. I did dramatic lighting and a bit of a haze over it because you know to make it ominous. Um, the sign looks like it's written by a toddler, but that's because I <laughs> have bad handwriting. Um. I did put a little silhouette in the top right. I think I like that. Uh, it's supposed to be a woman with a veil. But it looks more like somebody with their hands on their head. Either way, still kind of creepy. Little silhouette thing. Uh, I've also got this huge light going down. Like, I know, I feel like combining the themes of like mechanical stuff mixed with religious symbolism. Like, tends to be creepy. 
I just didn't do it well. I'm not gonna lie. This one's not very good. Um, it doesn't really fit my style. So, I may may have to work on my buildings. Uh, I guess that's it. There's not really much to talk about today. Um, Joe, wh what do you think? This drawing kind of looks like my diarrhea. Yeah. No, I have to agree with you on this one. It does kind of look like diarrhea. <laughs> anyway, day 31 tomorrow. Hallow's Eve. Or today. Hallow's Eve. Halloween. Whatever. Uh, yeah, let's go on to Halloween. Hell yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to try and make it spooky. No matter what the word is. See you tomorrow. <sighs> Finally. It's day 31. Yay. Halloween. I almost said Christmas. <laughs> yes. So. The final word was crawl. What do you think about when you think crawl? You think babies and spiders. And since I wanted it to be scary. I'm not really afraid of spiders or babies. I decided to combine the two. It's pretty creepy. Then I remembered. It's kind of already been done. In Toy Story. But whatever. I went for pretty simple look uh it's got a pink dummy in its mouth it's got red outlines because i think the black background definitely works better um and obviously i couldn't have a black background and black outline honestly there's not really much to say about today i just thought it was really cool it's, it's a baby it's gonna it's gonna get you um so yeah that's it that's day 31 and um okay so i did say i was gonna get into the whole ink one sec joe Got any comments? This drawing kind of looks like my diarrhea. What the fuck? Why are you saying the same thing every single fucking day of this fucking challenge? Well, you asked me to record one line. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that's true. All that fucking build up for a stupid fucking joke. So, yeah, that, that was the joke. That was the whole joke. <laughs> anyway. I did say I was going to get into the Inktober controversy. I did a little bit of research, not too much, and apparently the Inktober book is uh, plagiarized. I don't buy the books, to be honest. Um, there are arguments for and against. The arguments that it is true is the fact that it looks pretty similar to this other guy's book, but the arguments that it's not true is that it's the fundamentals and the fundamentals are the same. I honestly don't know what to think. It is a bit you know similar i might use a different prompt list next year but honestly it's not a big deal i'm not contributing to them at all really so yeah that's my opinion on the inktober controversy this challenge was really fun um stressful <laughs> definitely in the middle um i do do this challenge every well i say every year i've only been drawing for two years now um but i do plan to do this challenge every year whether it's this prompt list or another one uh, so, I think next year I might do it in a different format. Really depends on how I'm feeling. I'll definitely record it though. This video is like over 20 minutes long. Uh, so, I don't think I'll do it in one video. But yeah, that's it. Happy Halloween, people. Uh, I was gonna do a bonfire night video. But I think I'll save that for next year. Because that's on the 5th. Uh, but I'll, I'll see. I'll see if I can get a video done by the 5th. If I can get it done... Bye, bonfire night. I'll post one. But knowing me, that's pretty unlikely. Uh, stay safe. Uh, Fucking happy Halloween. Love you. Bye. Also, full disclosure, I recorded this audio on the 30th. Don't kill me. <laughs>